Now in this example we've got to solve the simultaneous equations 3x plus 5y equals 17 and 3x plus 2y equals 14. Now the first thing we need to do in any simultaneous equations is number them so we can identify them easily so I'll number them 1 and 2. And in this example what we have is that the two 3x terms are exactly the same. And when this happens what we can do is use the process of elimination. That is we take equation 1 and subtract equation 2. So just write uh, a little detail here to guide the reader through what we're doing by saying 1 take away 2. Okay? And by doing that we've got 3x here minus this 3x and that comes to 0. So I won't bother writing 0. I could if I wanted to, but I won't bother writing it in. And then we have plus 5y. Let's just write it over here so you can see what we're doing. Plus 5y. You'll be so careful with these things. Make sure you always put the sign. Think of the sign that's in front of your term here. Plus 5y. Then we're going to subtract okay, the next term, which is plus 2y. So put that there. Now, when you have a minus and a plus together like this, these two symbols, because they're different, are replaced with a minus. So we have plus 5y minus 2y. And if we work that out, you have 3y. So when it comes to doing 1 take away 2, 3x is cancel, and here we have just simply 3y. And in this column we have 17 and then we're going to take away the 14 here. So 17 take away 14 is 3. So all we need to do now to solve this equation, although it most probably is obvious to you what the answer is, is just to divide both sides by 3. So 3y divided by 3 is y and 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we have that y equals 1. Now when we have one of the values, in this case y equals 1, we need to find the other value x. And we can do that by just simply substituting y equals 1 into either equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter which one you do, you should get exactly the same answer. So what I'll do is say to the reader that I'm going to substitute, I'll write sub for short, substitute y equals 1 into equation 1 say. All right? And if we do that we have 3x plus 5 times y so we've got 5 times the y value which we know is 1 and we're told that that equals 17. So simplifying this we have 3x plus 5 ones are 5 equals 17 all I need to do now is subtract 5 from both sides, so that's going to leave me with 3x on the left, and 17 take away 5 is 12. Dividing both sides now by 3 leaves me with x equals 4. So, we have then y equals 1 and x equals 4. Now as I said earlier, it doesn't matter which equation you substitute y equals 1 into, whether it be 1 or 2, you should get the same answer. So just as a check, let's suppose that you decided to substitute y equals 1 into equation number 2. As I say, you don't have to do that. It's just normal practice to select one of these equations to see which one you think is the easiest to work with. So anyway, if we substitute y equals 1 into 2, what we have then is 3x plus 2 lots of y, so that's 2 lots of 1 and that in this case equals 14. So we have 3x plus 2 equals 14 and if we subtract 2 from both sides you're left with 3x then equals 12 as we had before and so therefore we have x equals 4. When you finish a, sum, uh, a simultaneous equation just simply summarize your answer it's best to put your x value first, so let's say therefore x equals 4 and y equals 1. 
And there you have a simultaneous equation where we can use the process of elimination to eliminate the x's in this example because they were exactly the same.